Once again we were on our way to Microtech to run some team v team battles at the river outpost. And I was surprised to see just how many of the raccoons present had never seen the river before. We're having a field trip on the Magic Carrick bus. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen the updated river. The river does not only offer some amazing scenery, but also the chance to run in with the Ninetales criminal gang. And we'd be reminded of this fact before we'd even landed, by a cutler heading for the outpost. Contact! Contact! Juno, 12 kilometers. I now successfully loaded in, so I will be coming down as soon as I can push. Top short no eyes, got it. Top turret re-engaging. Good, Good splash. Target down. Outstanding. Look at that. Any contacts? Uh, no. The river outpost can be found just a little ways upstream from the lake and on the left side. Though on this occasion I had flown over it and needed to turn around. Our plan here was to clear the nine tails from the outpost, then run some team v team skirmishes using the outpost, forest, and of course the river. First thing to do though, set our regen point to the Carrick Medbay. Remember to set your regen back on the Carrick. It was just a few hundred meters to the outpost, and those that had never been were excited to go take a look. And some are a little too excited, you might say. Easter ended up incapped. Oh. I went into uh, my inventory and I started getting shot. Thank you. Know you. What, you know what your first mistake was, right? <laughs> Not wearing a helmet. Well, okay, but you know what your second mistake was. <laughs> and then over this side of it, the river. Do you go in the river or no? Yeah, you go in the river. Okay then guys, so we need to split into teams and what we'll do is we'll have we'll have a team start up by the Carrack, right? And we'll have a team start the other side of the trees on the other side of the river there, okay? Now I am just going to get this out of the way now. There are no sounds or effects like splashing to illustrate you are in a body of water at this time. It just sounds like walking over a regular train. This can seem very odd and so I wanted to explain it here so anybody not familiar with it isn't confused later on. We'd separate into two teams, blue and red. We were team blue and were to attack the outpost first, starting from a position over the river and beyond the tree line. Um, critical, if you jump on 316, will you start to just communicate like when everyone's dead, that kind of thing? Okay, one second, we'll get started. Critical, 316. Leave a Charlie on 316. Okay, let's talk shop. Who's got what? You got a sniper rifle? Good. You got a sniper rifle? Yeah, Aerothorn has a sniper rifle and okay. FS9. We're going to try and get you guys to set up cover first and put fire down while, while me and uh, Seal uh, try and cross the river. Okay, it's going to be dangerous, but we're going to go for it. We are ready. So our plan here is to use a suppressing fire to bound over the river and then attack the outpost. But remember as well that we are like bright white by now so the trees may not give as much concealment as we initially hoped. Yeah, rock's a good cover position. Yes it is. Do you mean when you guys are set to give cover? Contact. Okay, we're gonna run for the right side of that rock in the middle of the river though, okay? Here we go. I'm taking damage. Ah, oh, wind, wind. Okay, moving. Oh, I'm hit. Target down. Good work. Took a hit, but I'm okay. How you doing, Seal? I took a hit, also. Cool. Uh, you guys see any contacts? We're moving out, out of the river now. Uh, Use the rocks. Got no eyes. Good shots. Target down. Good work. You guys want to cross? We can put down some covering fire now. Alright. Okay, covering. There it goes. Putting down covering fire is as much about keeping the enemy attention on you as it is about actually suppressing. 
reloading. All right, we're right behind you. Okay. Me and um, Seal are gonna push for that tree line. All right. Let's go, let's go, go, go. Ready. No eyes on contacts. Okay, guys, move up, move up. We're moving 12 o'clock now, like, for my facing, so essentially, like, adjacent adjacent to the river. The outpost is just going to be down by there a little ahead of us. Yeah, I got no eyes in this direction for covering fire. You go ahead and move up with us. Switching to Karna. No, no eyes on hostiles yet, though. You say it's at the outpost on the left. Good. No eyes. Horns on the right. Nothing yet. But the other team are ready to defend the outpost. Towers. Empty. Right behind Chris. Taking some hits. Getting to hard cover. Earth See all the behind us. Behind us. Earthhorn's in cap. Earthhorn's in cap. I'll see if I can make it to you now. Oh, I'm hit. I'm done. Holy shit. <laughs> far side of the outpost. They're on the far side of the outpost to where we were. Arathorn and me have been hit, but now we'd start fighting back. Looking now. I see him. He's down, he's down. Got him. Arathorn, I'm gonna try and make it to you now. Got eyes. Target down. Target down. I got a complete flank on him. As I reached Arathorn, Cyrus on the left flank was also coming into fire. Ah, taking hit. Ah. And Seal in the outpost would be next. Seal down. Shit. Seal, I'm on way to you now. Do you see where you got shot from? No, I was... I don't think it, it was, was pretty far out. Yeah. Uh, trees on ah. uh, where we oh, came from, the direction we came from. Target down. Yeah, flanking. Chrisio had called targets up on the bank somewhere, and I was moving to get on their flank. I see him. I see him moving. I think he might be down. Get down. There's another one up there. He's down. I think we might be clear, I think. Yeah, we got three down targets over here. That's it, we're all kept. Roger that, good fight, good fight. So, blue team had won round one, and it was time to pick up all the raccoons that were not dead. Good work, guys, good work. So that was a really good push on the flank. Thank you. Yeah, you guys got me real quick. And with the Karak on site, it also meant we could clear up any tier 3 injuries we'd sustained. In my case, it was a head wound, and this can impair your vision quite considerably if not treated. Okay. Generally, this does lead to a little queuing at the med bed, but nothing unmanageable. We eagerly await the arrival of the RSI Apollo though, as it will be a less unwieldy ship to lug around with you when you want to run these kind of exercises or events. Next, blue team would be defending the outpost, and we set up on the rocks waiting for the go for Critical Mac and Team Red. Roger, just waiting for commit. Ready? Okay, day ready. Okay, so I'm gonna call go now. As soon as I say go to them, you guys are good to go. Okay. We are go, 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 we go. Roger, go. All right, what kind of positions we want to take up? I think snipers, if you go wide and go to the trees, and then anyone with a machine gun can come forward and find some hard cover. Okay, Cyrus set. Cyrus set. Good, okay, Kate okay, is set. With the team in position, we'd now wait to catch sight of Team Red. Fire. Not seen yet. Who's taking fire? I am shot and going Oh, I see, him. I see him at the rock. Engaging. They're, they're at the same rock we were at. Big rock, uh, right. left side, left side. I think I might have got one down, maybe. Looking, I got no eyes. They're going to be pushing around the right Ooh. side of that rock, I think. Took a hit. Eyes on. Reloading. Really? 
Not seeing any further movement of the rock out there, I needed to check the river to the right as well. With all eyes left, crossing to the right now would be very effective for Team Red. Got eyes. They're moving. They're moving flanking left. Where's your flanking left? Yeah, towards the tree line. Wait, have they, have they crossed the river already? They're crossing it right now. Okay. So far, far up past the tree line. I can now shoot again, so I'm on. I don't know how far I was from everybody, but if I can get picked up, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. Cyrus was down a couple of hundred meters upstream, and all the way back at the outpost, I was about to encounter Team Red head on. Oh, they specifically buried me in the yeah. grass so I can't see. I, I'm capped. <laughs> they got me good from on top of that hill. Moving through grass. Oh, got another target crawling around too, near the rock. Crap. I got hostile meat. Right. He's running back up to the trees now. He's running up to the trees. He's up. There you go. Target down. Falling down. Falling down. So, despite some casualties on our side, Team Blue had taken out Team Red again in this round. And by the time we'd made it back to the caravan, we were moving into the afternoon at the river. Because it's been daylight for a while. Yeah. It's like late afternoon now, I'd say. Round three would again see us on the attack, proving to be a good scenario to practice our fix and flank techniques. But how many of us are here? Yeah, it looks like the whole team's here. Good work, guys. Good work. Okay. We are ready. Three, two, one, go. Okay, guys, uh, follow me. We're going to push left this time. All right. The downstream side of the outpost river bank had very thick forest, and our plan in this round was to cross the river into that forest and attack. There is a rock formation over here we can run to. Good idea, yeah. Use that as cover. Use that as cover. Uh, yeah. Stay low, we're pretty out in the open heading to that rock. I'm gonna fold here and give cover. Crusader set on the rocks. Got Cyrus set. Moving. Oh, grenades, shots. Territory contact in the woods. Watch out. Upper or lower? No eyes. Oh, hit the shot though. Target down. I see movement in the base, so I'm just doing cover okay. fire around where they're at. Contact, I'm down. Incapacitated. All right. With covering fire, I made a break for the river itself. There was a hostile in the trees opposite side, very difficult to spot for our team. They are firing. Yeah, they're firing at the rock we're at. They hit me. I can fire. They didn't hit. Yeah, they're missing. I'm hearing it. It's buzzing by. Oh, uh, yeah. Looking for them now. Yeah, I got eyes, no eyes. Eyes on. He's down. Target them. Okay, moving. Good work. Arrowthorn crossing river. Set on the rock. Contact in the base. I think I got one. Yeah, target down. We'd only encountered two or three of Team Red at this point, and that's because Team Red had got a very wide flanking counterattack, and we're now on the other side of the river. Uh, fire from behind. Shit, sure, it's on okay. Our side of the river. What's ya? Anyone down? Negative. You gotta hit again. I'm down. Seal. He's down. I can fire. Yeah, it's green. Yep, yeah, see? Hey. I can see what. Oh, yeah. I got him. I want him now, he's, he's taking a hit, he's taking a hit. I'm flanking. Yeah, I had eyes on, he's behind the rock. I am behind seal, the rock. I'll go to seal, Arathorn will go to seal. I'm covering you, Arathorn. Enemy down on our side of the river. Good, we're covering the base now. But Team Red still had some defenders on this side, and as we were patching up our wounded, they were moving in to meet us. Okay, so let's just push this move left into the trees here, right. and we'll push up towards the base now. I'm hearing right. shots, sniper shots ahead. Move my friend, close. Target down. Oh shit, I'm down, I'm down. Target down. Ah, I'm down. Luckily for Cyrus and me, the rest of Team Blue were close at hand and able to pick us up off the ground. I'm hearing fire. It's me, sorry, Andy. I got any season my pen. Help myself off real quick. Right, pushing up. 
Crusader flanking right. Now, we were moving in on the outpost itself. I'm on most of the team, we tread safely. Seal was not so lucky. Moving around the left of the base. There's a seal, I'm down. I tripped over a rose. Chris, they were on the far side of the outpost now. On the far corner. Yeah, there is no one in the outpost. The outpost is clear. I'm guessing maybe the trees up there on the right as we were looking. But it wasn't the trees on the right. It was, again, the far side of the river. Fire, fire from behind, fire from behind. Quick budget checking. Our side of the river. Seen. Two guys over on our Seen. side of the river. One down. I'm going down. I can't run. I'm, moving I'm down. The in cap. Chris Ayo needed to be revived, but Cyrus had observed the enemy we've been engaging go down as well. They might be down. Yeah, Chris Ayo's up. Thank you. They're right next to that rock, right across the river. How do they die or do they crawl back behind that rock? No, I see a gun on the floor, so yeah, I think they're dead. And if I was the last person alive on their team, I'd be going for reviving teammates. What's up? Uh, the forest we came through, check because all their bodies are in there. Like if I was if I was there last dude, that's where I'd be going. I am. Oh, to like pick up their allies, yeah. Alright, uh no, one of them's still uncapped over here. Where's your AOC? Two of them still uncapped over here. Three still uncapped over here. Yeah, no, they're, oh, they're all him. still down over him. here. I see him up ahead. Blend the hit. He's behind the tree down there. Uh, you're, you're left Pushing now, forward. Present. I think you got him down. Yeah. Oh, more fire, more no, fire. He's still up. There's another dude in there. Blank, he's down. Yeah, good work. Teamwork. All down, all down. <laughs> Roger, good fight, guys. God damn, that was a good fight. Nice. Round three was over, and it was a blue team victory, but by now, things were getting late. And by the time we were setting up for the fourth round, it was dark at the river outpost. Here we go, guys, here we go. Okay, we are ready, and we are go, go. Okay, same as before. Snipers on the flanks, if you can get, get high ground, great. Um, Machine guns push. We're going to be pushing right this time. We're going to do the trees and we're going to cover from there. We were once again on the defensive, and this time we're expecting a wide flanking attempt from Team Red. We might get shot. At. Don't see any movement yet. Yeah, no movement. All right, I'm at the rock next to the river. But once again, Team Red's maneuver was wider than we'd anticipated, and soon Chris Hill would come into fire. Fire from uh, rear. Oh fuck! I'm down. Okay. Rear left. They're at the our far rear, rear left. left. Okay. Shit, okay. Stop pushing it. We're gonna, we're gonna push towards the carrot first and then over. Yeah, they're gonna be I think almost level with the carrot if I heard. Holy oh, shit! Really? Seal and me were trying to get further inland than Team Red to attack from their flank, but Cyrus and Chrisio were outgunned in the center. Shots of fire. We're moving on the flank. <clears throat> moving on the flank, Sam. Oh, oh movement. Move in front. Uh, Gotta yep. move to the next rock. They, they're pulling back into the into the trees up here. We're on their flank now. We're on the flank. Oh, down. Okay. Catching sight of Team Red though would not go to plan. Yes, we're down. You see how you stole me? Yeah, I'm 30. Come, Movement, movement, crossing the open there. Shit, I'm getting hit. Fuck, I'm down. I think we're all down. All down, all down. All down. So the final round was a victory for Team Red, and we'd have some time aboard the Carrack to discuss the day's events. We, we fully enough, right? We, we pushed out to the flanks real wide, because we were like, oh, they're going to be flanking, you know. You guys must have either snuck through somewhere, because our line was real thin, or come, how far, how far wide did you actually go? I'm so curious. Uh, 
it really wide. I think about 700, <laughs> 700 meters, maybe. <laughs> I we mean, stuck together too this time. We decided let's just stick up really together as a group and yeah. do it that way. Team B team training sessions like this are not only helpful in building skills for combat in the PU, but also a lot of fun. And I want to thank all of the raccoons from Task Force Alpha that joined us for this one. I also want to thank you, the viewer, for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please take a second to hit the like button. It helps out more than you know. And at the moment, we only get about 10% of the viewers on an average video that do actually hit the like button. That would be a huge help. Thank you, guys. As always, I also want to thank our amazing patrons. Each and every one of them are very generous people that make the videos possible with their generous support to the channel. Ad revenue on YouTube is incredibly poor, and it is isn't the views that keeps the channel going, it's these amazing and very generous patrons. And in this video I especially want to thank Jack Nazareth who recently became a supporter of the channel. Jack was actually the naked guy we were shooting at with the Kana in the last video about assault rifles and those tests occurred at the end of this training session. So I am doubly thankful to Jack for his contributions to the channel, but especially so for the support of becoming a patron. Thank you very much Jack. I have a referral code in the description you guys can use to gain an extra 5,000 credits in game when you sign up for an account. As I said, you can find that in the description below. I am about 13 referrals away from hitting the 500 reward level. I think realistically that is the highest reward level I'll make it to, so that is also very exciting. But for the player that uses the code, they also gain the benefit of the extra credit. And 5,000 credits is enough to get you set up with a Kana rifle like the one seen in this video. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and we'll be back soon.